Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video I will be mounting an Orbiter V2 on my Endo 3 by designing a custom mount that is uh, also the fan shroud and the mount for an BL touch. And I started by designing the part and uh, optimizing it for uh, 3D printing so there are no overhangs that the printer can't do. And after I was happy with the design, I uh, sliced it in Prusa Slicer and then I printed it out on my Endo 3 where it, I currently have installed the BQH2 extruder. Um, I had a lot of problems at the start so I, with this extruder uh, but at the moment it works but just not with uh, some filaments. And because of that, I will be upgrading it in today's video with the extruder that I am making in this video. But uh, for printing this part, it worked out fine, especially with this filament. Uh, it works fine, it's just some generic PLA, but I uh, really have problems with, with other filaments. Here I was uh, test fitting the cold end by trying to insert it and it uh, fit actually really well into it. Here is the mount for the BL touch and with that we can start to assemble the extruder. But for that we first have to uninstall the hot end that uh, I bought a new one because the one that came with my ender I used on the Core XY printer. So I had to buy a new one and uh, the heat brakes are apparently uh, glued in with some sort of uh, heat resistant epoxy so it was quite hard to get out but uh, a lathe chuck and a big wrench will get it done for you and now we can install it and drill out all the holes i uh, put a very thin layer there so the printer would be able to uh, bridge the gap without having to put support and after that uh, it fit even better than before. You can install the heat brake in the, in the, in the cold end. Check, <laughs> always make sure that it's straight and not uh, crooked in there or it would bother me. <laughs> These are all uh, M3 threads. These ones right here are M2 threads that I had to uh, cut for the cooling fan of the end of three because that still apparently <laughs> uses M2 bolts. I don't know why, but uh, it just does, so we do that. <laughs> and now I'm just lapping the front surface a bit so it will be a, a better fit with the fan. Now we can start to install it on the printer, but first we have to uninstall the old one. It's always a, a big mess <laughs> when I do projects with, uh, with cables, so don't <laughs> get uh, too excited about the uh, the cable management because there will not be a lot of it so here I uh, taped all the connectors together that I will have to insert through the cable chain or the cable uh, tube it's a, a easy way you can uh, get all the cables through I had to drill out the these holes in the back that uh, go over the mounting for the hot end because uh, they were just a bit too small and then you see oh it doesn't fit because I forgot to <laughs> make a cutout for the screw on the bottom of the of the of the axis the ender but after that it fit and now we can uh, 
again unscrew the fan and insert the, the, the bolts so we can screw it on. Now we can install the BL touch and oh, I made an error. <laughs> it's uh, not far enough up, so we're just gonna take out one screw and move it upwards a lot. And then afterwards change it in the design. So there, it's just uh, further up. But now uh, when we move it down into the lowest position, it's, it's at the right height. Installing the cooling fan. I in always uh, put the cooling fan on my designs at the exact same place as it's a uh, stock, so I don't have to design new coolers <laughs> because uh, I don't like doing that because it's always uh, quite a hassle to do that. If you have any suggestions for uh, for me or the channel, how I make my videos or about my design. I would uh, really enjoy if you would uh, write it into the comments. Also, if you have any suggestions about the future project, maybe if uh, that I should uh, do more videos about um, my lathe or uh, my CNC mill. I uh, at the moment have a <laughs> bit trouble with my 3D printers, so I had to um, work on that at the moment. But uh, there will for sure be videos about my CNC mill. I have uh, ordered a few uh, linear rails for uh, projects with no intent. So I will be able to design something co uh, very cool. I don't know what. So if you have any suggestions, I would uh, really love for you to um, suggest something to me. And now about the extruder. I am really surprised uh, b about the print quality that this uh, setup gives me. It's it's day and night compared to to the BQH2 extruders that I had before. It's uh, extremely consistent. So the surface finish is uh, extremely consistent. There are no uh, lines going across it. There are no artifacts. There are no no anything. It's probably also this filament because it's a uh, very matte but uh, I have never seen anything like this on, on, on this print before and uh, I would definitely suggest doing such an upgrade using the the orbiter v2 and uh, the ender hot end and cold end for me has always been a very reliable and solid setup and if you would like me to release these files after I <laughs> I um, fixed all the errors uh, write it in the comments and I will uh, look into it um, on releasing it on like Thingiverse or something like that and with that thank you for watching and until next week.